Hey guys, super quick video here to show you how to play Armor tomorrow so you have everything ready, you know, all the shortcuts, all the game mechanic. So let's get into it. So you will see this is the main screen when you join a faction. So right now I'm in 9th SS Panzer. This is the Ger uh, German main and all the flags. So basically you need to capture those two flags in order to be able to capture those three flags. You see there is a white line here. The more flags you have, as soon as you capture one flag, you will deplete the enemy tickets. Um, if you have two flags more than the enemy, you'll get more flag, uh, more points and so on. So if you capture those three and neutralize those two, then the enemy, even if they own those three flags, they will lose tickets here. Anyway, so that's pretty basic. Now the thing is you need to join an existing vehicle. So you have a commanding platoon. So this guy is literally having a um, radio inside his tank. So he can call in planes, artillery and smokes. Uh, we have the armor recon, which is obviously the recon. And then we have the heavy tanks. So I'm going to join a Panzer V Panzer for the example. So the crew is up to four, which is driver, gunner, hull gunner and the commander. So now I'm the commander, I see my kit here, I'm the Panther Commandant. And my respawn point just appeared by joining that section. If I leave that section and join another one, you'll see the yellow dot is going to be somewhere else because each respawn is linked to one vehicle. So I'm going to leave, go back into my trusty Panzer V. There you go, and deploy. When you deploy, you deploy near your own station. You can see we have multiple stations. I'm going to go in the admin cam. Each station is one vehicle. Uh, those are the others. Okay, let's get back in the game. You respawn here, your vehicle is going to respawn at that location. In order to respawn it, you will look at that little sign, press F and spawn vehicle. When the vehicle is respawned, you will sit here, you press F to get in, wait for the timer to complete, and then you will be the driver. So this is the driver's seat, seat number one. Turn on the engine by pressing E. Um, using mouse wheel, uh, the scroll up, you will change to this periscope and scrolling one more time, you will turn out. All the way back, I scroll down, I can look around my periscope, but by pressing the control key and moving the mouse, I can actually rotate my periscope left and right. If you see at the bottom, uh, the bottom left of my screen, there is a cone of what I'm seeing. So if I look here, I can say, hey, I see something nine o'clock and everybody will know because this is relative to the tank. Then we have the compass heading north and we have that little needle uh, pointing toward 12, which is the turret rotation. We'll get back to this in a, in a second. So now my engine is on. I can drive forward by using my usual motion uh, keys. And Driver. So if I turn the engine off by pressing E, the engine goes off. Spacebar is the actual um, parking brake. So now I'm going to press F2. We're going to go in the gunner. I'll cover the gunner really quickly as well. It's a really basic tutorial. So I can rotate my turret. You see the needle at the bottom left is rotating. So if I go back to 12, there you go. No, I'm facing 12. If I scroll up, I also have a little periscope like the driver's seat and I can rotate around by pressing control. Pressing the key Q will also give me a little zoom so I can, you know, look around. My gunners, my commander say, hey, I have a contact three o'clock. I can look three o'clock and compensate while my gun is getting there. And when it's there, scroll down, look into the scope, press Q to zoom in and zoom out. I can switch, I can fire an AP round. Pressing 2, I will switch to an H round and right wing. Pressing R will reload the coax um, bullets. Well, you get the idea. So that's for the gun. Uh, next thing is you see the, the speed of rotation, it can be tweaked. So it, it's not only because we are using the keyboard and not using the mouse. If you press Ctrl and scroll, up and down that's how fast your turret is so if i scroll all the way down now i'm the slowest speed so this is manual speed you can hear the sound it's different if i scroll up this is faster in manual and that's hydraulic and that is full speed it allows you greater detail uh, greater accuracy if you want to get like a very hard shot like this okay so that was the gunner Let's move on to F3, which is going to be the hull gunner. So the hull gunner is 
fitted with a MG34. You also have a periscope by scrolling up and down and you can look around. That's all you will have to do in the hull gun. So if you have one, that guy may be able to get out, use his binoculars, recon for you, or you would be able to kill people. Let's switch to the commander. F4. So now I'm in the commander cupola. So I can look around my cupola, I can press Q and zoom. I can scroll down and I have like some sort of 360 periscope, well almost 360 periscope to look around my tank. I can zoom in, zoom out. If I scroll back up, I go back in my cupola and if I scroll one more time, I'm going to turn out of my tank. Pressing Q again to use the binocular, but be careful when you're exposed, you can take a bullet and be killed. So I'm going to turn back in. I have no control over my turret, so if I see a contact 2 o'clock, I will have to communicate to my gunner by using the squad uh, button here to talk to them. So you're going to say 2 o'clock and then the guy is going to turn his turret. So that's for the basic of the vehicle itself. I'm going to head out of the vehicle, get my wrench. So if the engine, you notice, oh, I'm going to get back in, sorry. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you see you have um, icons like left track, right track, transmission and turret. So if you get hit in one of those components, it may get damaged. So if it is damaged, you just get out, get your wrench, look at the tank, stay click. And if it is damaged, the guy will start fixing it. As soon as you cannot click anymore on the vehicle, it means the vehicle is fully repaired. But that is just repairing the components. The integrity of the hull is not repaired with a wrench. You need to go to a um, repair station. Let me show you how that looks. It's on the map. You see it's a little wrench and screwdriver. So you just drive into this location and that will repair your tank really well, relatively quickly. So this is fixing the hull, the internal components and rearming the ammo. So that's pretty much everything we have about the tanks in this game mode. Uh, we will cover the destruction and the internal components in the next tea time next week. But yeah, for now, just shoot at enemy tanks and it should be just fine. And obviously, if you're in a small tank looking at the big tank, tell the big guys where the big guy is because you will most likely not be able to take it out. Cool, we hope you like that little tutorial and we'll see you tomorrow.